Welcome to our unit on Firebase Authentication. I want to start off by showing you the cool app that we're going to create in this unit. All right, So it's called Password Keeper. And let's go ahead and run it here. Uh, so Password Keeper is kind of maybe appropriate for, for the unit because we're talking about authentication. Uh, this is actually an app that you can use to store um, passwords for other apps. So kind of like, you know, like a keychain or, or a, a LastPass kind of app. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in. Uh, this, the simplest way to log in is just uh, using a, an email and password combination that have been stored on Firebase, right? So, so that you've, you've actually created on Firebase. So I have a very um, uh, simple one right here. So aab.com uh, and password a, 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 a. All right, there we go. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and then log in and it should log me into the app, and I've already made uh, a password here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we got an expandable list view here, so if we click on it, it will expand, uh, and then we can see a username and password. Um, I assure you that these are not my credentials for, for Twitter. Um, so then I, I go ahead and if I wanna edit it, I can click on the pencil icon here and say, you know, uh, maybe maybe password is not a very good one. Maybe I should I should change mine to secret. All right. No one will know. All right, very good. Uh, so there we go. So so we have it there. Um, so if I want to add a new one, then simple enough to do. Okay, you've seen dialogues to do these kind of things. And if I want to delete it, I can actually do a swipe to delete, and it will ask me if I want to undo. So kind of a neat feature there. Uh, if you haven't done that before, it's 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 pretty fun. Uh, so that's all using the um, sort of basically just one account on here. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna log out. And then I have a second option, which is to sign in with Google, right? So I'm gonna click on this guy and give it a second. And then it actually um, went through and it got my Google credentials, came back and then logged me in with, with Google. So you notice here that I have different passwords stored here. That's because this is a different user, right? So um, it looks like secret is one that I've used before. Um, anyway, so, so, I can have, uh, so I can have different users each storing their own passwords, right? And again, I can do the same CRUD methods uh, here. You know, I, it's clearly I'm, um, I'm reading them. I can create them. I can update them. Uh, we saw the edit there, um, or I can, or I can delete them, right? Uh, and let's go ahead and log out. And then if I go in one more time, I can log in with with Rosefire. So this is uh, specifically for uh, for um, members of the Rose Holman community. So. What I'm going to do is go ahead and sign in with with my credentials here. Um, let's see. So go ahead, and there we go. And I got in that way, right? Um, and it's definitely real time. I just actually updated my credentials with there just just recently. Uh, so very good, and I can I can do this kind of stuff here, and log out again, All right? So very, very neat. Um, the basic app uh, is, is very cool. Uh, you know, you notice if, if, I, if I type in um, one here and then I, I press this, um, this button down here, all right, so I can, it will move me on to the next one. And then um, when I'm done, I click, it turns into a check mark here. So these are our um, IME options or um, uh, input method editor options, right? So that's something that that um that we're kind of giving you that that may be a little bit new for you, right? Uh, so very cool. So how does this work, right? What's what's going on here? Um, I assure you that it has something to do with which providers we have enabled here. I also assure you that if I were going to um if I were going to go into my console here, excuse me, uh, in the console you'll see that there are several users here, right? So here's my aab.com. Here's my, my Rose Holman credentials here, so the user ID Bautel, and then I have the, the Google account here. You can see the Google as a provider. Um, and it has to do with these things uh, and a bit more as far as how we structure our data. Right? Uh, so we've got some, some great stuff uh, going on here. Um, gonna be an exciting unit. Right? So let's talk a little, a little bit more here. Uh, first of all, give credit where it's due. Uh, so you, you, you uh, met Tyler uh, sort of vicariously in the, in the unit here, if you, if you don't know him. Um, in our last unit, uh, but Tyler also created the um, created Password Keeper um, 
done great work on this. Uh, we love it. Uh, he's also responsible for the Rose Holman authentication, right? What we're going to call Rose Fire that we're going to talk about later. So, so Tyler's really been a huge contributor to this unit. So again, great uh, shout out to, to Tyler. Great work on this. Uh, as far as what we're going to be doing in the unit, what are our goals, right? So always we should we should begin with sort of the end in mind, right? So we want to be able to to learn how to do authentication. Uh, and authorization as well, so that users only have access to, to their, their own data. Uh, so we're using the three um, ways that we talked about. So using just sort of a, a simple email and password, um, using Google's OAuth, right? So basically using their Google account, um, using Rose Fire, which is this custom library that, that Tyler made. Um, and you're also in the lab, you're gonna learn how to use another third party service for example, Twitter, right? There's actually a few different other options that are supported. Um, if we look back here, actually, so Facebook, Twitter, and GitHub um, are all supported, right? So you're gonna be doing something like that um, on the lab. And finally, we're also gonna learn a little bit more about Firebase rules um, so that we can limit users uh, to only their own data. All right, well, that's it for our introduction. Come back next time when we uh, go ahead and get started on Password Keeper. Mm -hmm.